మిత్రాయ నమ థ్యాంక్ యూ ఫర్ బీయింగ్ ఇన్ ద ఎనర్జీ సర్కిల్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఎనర్జీ సర్కిల్స్ విఎస్పి తెనేటి ఛానల్ వన్ మోర్ ప్రెషస్ సిరీస్ ఫ్రామ్ దిస్ ఛానల్ రత్న నిధి ద మిస్టిక్ వరల్డ్ ఆఫ్ ప్రెషస్ అండ్ సెమీ ప్రెషస్ జమ్ స్టోన్స్ రత్న నిధి జమ్ స్టోన్స్ విచ్ షుడ్ నాట్ బి వార్న్ does does this stone really suit you does this gemstone work in my favor has it the specific dimensions and the refractive indexes is it properly pacified and energized ratna nidhi so much to know so many secrets revealed so many untold stories ratna nidhi leave aside the wearing of the right gemstones you should firstly understand about the mistakes people commonly do in wearing the gemstones and rings you should also know the gemstones that should not be worn upon few fingers it matters a lot wrong wearing of gemstones could mess up your future completely trust me It doesn't matter if you do not wear any gemstone but if you wear a wrong gemstone that can totally react in a negative way There are only 9 precious gems for the 9 planets You should understand that there are many amateur futurologists who could recommend gemstone for you You may just read some roadside book or surf and find out that a, p- a certain a particular gemstone suits you but it is not an easy task there is so much to know about gemstones let us try to accommodate relevant information in the ratnanidhi series of episodes follow carefully ratnanidhi gemstones which should not be worn so much to know so many secrets revealed so many untold stories many people simply know the basics that a certain rasi or zodiac which belongs to a particular planet which is automatically represented by a particular gemstone it is much popularized but it is very important to understand whether the particular rasi or planet is in his favor whether it is weak whether strong whether opposed by its enemy planet whether it is the lagna or rasi or the enemy place if one is passing through ravidasha and his lagna is makara or kumbha he should not dare to wear a ruby at all it is like representing the rival and walking into the enemy chambers even wearing the gemstone of the malefic planet or suffocating planet can be very disastrous wearing the right gemstone to a wrong finger too could be quite dangerous of course planets like moon jupiter and mercury that is chandra guru and buddha may not do much harm even if they are wrongly placed but shukra shani ravi and kucha that is venus saturn sun and mars could be ruthless when wrongly placed i will i will be gradually explaining about the perfect gemstone suitable to the native but now we shall talk about the other side of it diamond is the gemstone that represents shukra venus The elementary level of understanding is that anyone whose lagna or rasi is either rushab or tula can wear a diamond. When someone enters Shukra Mahadasha, he is suggested of wearing a diamond, but no. If the placement of Shukra Venus is in the Nicha Kanyasthan or Vyayasthan 12th house or running through Ravidasha, wearing a diamond could be unfavorable. 
wearing a diamond upon the ring finger the fourth finger previous to the little finger is not at all advised as it can create matrimonial disharmony or health calamities or both but many unknowingly wear a diamond to the ring finger similarly neelam blue sapphire which belongs to Shani, Saturn, and Gomed, Hesonite, which represents Rahu, should strictly, strictly not to be worn to the ring finger at all. If the placement of any planet is in the Nichasthana or Vyaya, wearing a gemstone pertaining to that particular planet is not at all advisable. The truth about the energy of a gemstone is that it magnifies the intended qualities of the planet, but it will not pacify them. A gemstone is giving a weapon. When a or it works as a shield when the planet is in your favorable position. When a planet is placed in a favorable position but is unable to benefit or do proper justice because of the suppressing power of another planet, the planet is considered as weak. In order to give magnified strength, the perfect gemstone is advised to be worn upon the concerned finger on an auspicious muhurtam time frame to nullify the negativity and amplify the positivity. It is always advised to pacify the planets when they are aggressive, bad or malefic. Many unknowingly choose, if, choose to wear a gemstone of that particular planet which is not favorable to them at all. He increases the energies of the planet and the negativity is further intensified. As an astro numero palmist and Vastu consultant since 1979 had the opportunity to see more than a lakh clients. The Badhaka planet gemstone, it is a very important factor to notice. A very important factor is the wearing of the gemstone of the malefic planet. The Badhaka planet gemstone worn can bring a lot of trouble and pain. Hence, it is not easy to sport any or every gemstone without deeper diagnosis of the native and its planetary frequencies. Next, it is very important to perform the proper prana pratishtas for the ring before wearing it. It, it is just like a mobile phone, if you do not activate it with a SIM, it doesn't work. It is as good as that. Let us go deeper into the Ratnanidhi chapters in the future episodes. Vijayi Bhava Ratnanidhi The mystic world of precious and semi-precious gemstones. We will be coming out shortly with many more important uh, videos which will talk about the various aspects of precious and semi-precious gemstones. Thank you for being in the energy circles. Mitraya Namaha. Aditya Sakshi. Sampurna Raksha. Mm -hmm.